Valentine's Day is but a few days away. We're just checking in with the happy couple to see if the gifts have been bought yet. We broke up. No, because he needs to go to the store. I'm dying every day. Shut up. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. I think he's claiming that he's already bought, but, or no, you went and they didn't have what they, they, they didn't have a bear, but I went and bought all the other No, nah, they didn't have, not that they didn't have a bear, but like they had the bear, but most of the money I had had to go towards the other stuff first. So. Because like I said, the bear of that size is going to run you some money. For sure. Is, how much is the bear this year? The joint was like 50. <laughs> Yeah, I went to my Walmart. No, then, uh, uh, them bears, it depends on, because the medium ones, they only like 30 something. First of all, you didn't say TK, you said light you, light wanted, light. you wanted you wanted the bear light. that like was massive, that couldn't get into the door. I want a bear his size. So life size, what? Well, the bears, actually bears are really bigger than you, but she said she wanted that big one. I want it, so you need to get it. Or if if they shut up if they sell, if they sell out you can get the medium one. Okay, which Walmart is your Walmart? I went to the uh, the one in South. Carolina. See, that's the wrong Walmart. How you gonna tell you me? And that's the one I the always. one in Horn Lake. Both of them are beat. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. First of all, I'm inclined to agree with TK on this one. The South Haven Walmart. Hang on, I'm gonna I'm gonna take care of it for you. The one in South Haven is heavily used by folks in Memphis and South Haven and Horn Lake. But the one in Horn Lake, for whatever reason, nobody seems to go to it. It's brand new, it's really nice, and they typically are well stocked. Let's recap this, shall we, Tay? He still doesn't, he doesn't have the bear. He went, they didn't have the bear, which is what she was fearful of a week ago. Get that bear. It just wasn't in my own price range, so no. Fifty dollars was not, uh, which I, which I will say, I will say, that's a lot of money for a stuffed bear. No, not no fifty dollars. No. Mm -mm. Going to hurt him. Ain't gonna cap. No, you getting like twenty five. If it's like twenty five dollars, you can get it. But if it's fifty, go to the Walmart in Horn Lake. Uh. Twenty five. I'm not finna get no fifty dollar bear. You got life so messed up. If you think I'm really finna go there for fifty dollars, you don't need this. He ain't doing right. You wear it. I'm Alela and today's top story highlights our basketball team as they gear up for tonight's big district tournament. How y'all doing? I'm here with Coach Bentley. Like the car. 
<laughs> so tell us about tonight's game uh if you don't know about tonight's game then you must be like under a rock not paying attention because it's going to be a big one for the first time since 2015 we're playing for the district championship against uh oh, what's that school i think i even graduated from there it's over that way oh south haven high school yeah yeah boo chargers so um what's i heard about you have to order your ticket online you can't buy at the door well, yes, since we're going back to a classic Horn Lake South Haven battle for the district championship, uh, word on the street is that the tickets are going like hotcakes there. They're just boom, gone. And then I even heard a little rumor that uh, that they have a former player that's currently playing the NBA, Terrence Davis, TD. Uh, they're going to retire his jersey before our game. And I thought that was a very nice honor to get a bunch more people in the stands before we play them for the district championship. So we're looking forward to them coming out there and supporting Terrence and uh, cheering on the Eagles. Fun fact, me and Jordan Allen, he is such a great person. Like, he talked to us. It was nice. So, um, do y'all feel like y'all going to play strong tonight? Oh, no doubt. No doubt. You know, this is the, the third time we've played them this year. Uh, last time was an absolute heartbreaker, losing in overtime here at the lake. And uh, just felt like we just kind of left that one slip away from us. Did a couple things that really cost us towards the end. But uh, we know that uh, game three, the, or in the final round with these guys, it's, it's going the Eagles way. How do I do this? You got to be on that side. Start. What do I say? I'm, I'm here with Coach Parti. We got a game tonight. Tell me about it. Well, it's a big game tonight. Um, I want everybody to be there, be loud, and be proud. What are you most excited for tonight? Well, I'm just excited for us to win, to be this year's championship. Uh, we need to win this game in order to us to be in a good seating. So we need this district championship really, really bad. Why are you all in the multi-purpose room? Uh, one of my fellow coaches, he didn't show up today, so yeah, we ain't here today, you know. <laughs> okay, let's talk about your seniors. Let's talk about the seniors this year. The seniors this year, they have been doing a great job since I came here. Uh, they really like our backbone of our team, and hopefully we want to go out with a big bang. And this was one of our first goals, to have a good season and become district champions. So they know what's at stake tonight. Okay, what happens if we become district champ? Well, we'll host um, every game here until we lose to go to the state tournament, all right? We have to win two games here if we win, uh, when we win, uh, yeah. and when we win. So we'll host it here and then everything will come through Horn Lake. Girls, when we win tonight, we speaking into existence. When we win tonight, it's gonna be our favorite part because all the hard work that we put in is gonna be finally, we finally get a chance to celebrate it. The baseball team is also playing this weekend as they kick off the season. We went down to A-Hall to chat with Coach Nils. Baseball season is beginning to start. When does it start, Coach? Saturday, first January game. Next Tuesday, we have our first real game. Because the season has started, we wanted to be with Coach and several other spe- mm, sorry. Hey, y'all, look, I got two guys that can impersonate Coach Nails. Here they go. It's pretty good. Zay's up first. Zay's got a really good uh, routine of, of me, they say. I'm going to put him on the spot. So we'll be like in practice. And then, now. And then he'll be like, all right, guys, we get to the last group. He get to throwing the ball fast. And then he complain about his arm a lot. So his arm really don't be hurting. He just don't want to throw to that last group. That's all it is. It don't be hurting. Come on, homie, we're running out of daylight. Come on. <laughs> My mom do it. really hurt, you know. <laughs> I told my rotator cuff about 10 years ago. I never said that. <laughs> Got some stitches down here and here. Uh, Dr. Fix said about the last about 12 years. It lasted longer than I thought it would, homie. Uh, let's get it. Let's go. That is not how I act at all. I do say homie a lot, apparently. You do. Because every time somebody pretends to be me, they say homie. But I don't think I say that much. You better hear me, Mike, over there to you, because you don't even know how to say Coach Eilert. Saturday, we play at 2 and 4 at Center Hill, two four inning games. Next Tuesday, we will go to Senatovia. We play at uh, JV's at Five, Barcy's at seven. 
next Friday. We're at Lake Cormorant, five and seven, varsity at seven. And then Saturday's first home game, 11 and one, varsity starts at one. Emmett Till was born in Chicago and grew up in a middle-class black neighborhood. Till was visiting relatives in Money, Mississippi in 1955 when the 14-year-old was accused of whistling at Carolyn Bryant, a white woman who was a cashier at a grocery store. Four days later, Bryant's husband Roy and his half-brother J.W. Milam kidnapped Till, beat him, and shot him in the head. The men were tried for murder, but an all-white male jury acquitted them. In 2018, the Justice Department said that it had received new information about Till's death, and the FBI reopened an investigation into his murder. Till's death provided an important catalyst for the American Civil Rights Movement. 100 days after Till's murder, Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat on an Alabama city bus, sparking the year-long Montgomery bus boycott. Nine years later, Congress passed the Civil Rights Act of 1964, outlawing many forms of racial discrimination and segregation. In 1955, the Voting Rights Act outlawing discriminatory voting practices was passed. This week's feature vocabulary words are eclipse, emerge, and imminent. Eclipse, a loss of significance, power, or prominence in relation to another person or thing. Emerge, to become apparent, important, or prominent. Coach Eiler, what is your best dad joke? What did the uh, reptile say when he pulled a muscle? I don't know. Dinosaur. I don't get it. Of course you don't get it. <laughs> uh, blonde walks into a fabric store to buy some curtains. Saleswoman so said, well, what do you need the curtains for? The blonde said, I need it for my computer screen. The saleswoman says, Curtains for a computer screen? The blonde goes, Yeah, duh, I have windows. <laughs> that was actually kind of funny. What do you call an alligator detective? What? An investigator. <laughs> Pregnant woman goes to the hospital to have her baby. She starts yelling out these strange words mustn't, shouldn't, wouldn't, isn't, can't, doesn't, haven't, hasn't. Husband's confused. He says, What should I do? Doctor says nothing. It's just contractions. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it took me a second last to one. realize. Last it. one. Last one. The devil appeared in church one day, walking up and down the aisles. Behold, I am Beelzebub, the devil in the flesh, the devil incarnate. I am more scary than all of your fears. This old man stood up and said, "Devil, you don't scare me." The devil said, "Why not?" The old man said. I've been married to your sister for 45 years. <laughs> hey. That's messed up. All right, so I'm here with Kevin. Okay, well. It's your birthday, ain't it, boy? Okay, okay. So, uh, what you going to, what, what, who you think going to win for uh, the Super Bowl? Who you think going to win the Super Bowl? The Bengals. The Bengals? Yeah. I do. I do. Just a little, just a little bit, though. You know, Joe Shiesty. What? The quarterback. Oh, uh, wait. Shiesty. Wait. Uh, this Mr. Rogers. Ooh, hey, you sound like you should be like when them radio done. Say, uh, say, I'm a smooth dude in your voice. I'm a smooth dude, man. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so who you think I win Super Bowl? Uh, San Diego. Why is it? 
Uh, I don't know. I just got a feeling, man. Who, who you going with? I'm going with the Bengals. Okay. Okay. Well, we have to. They've been turning up. Agree to disagree. I'm a smooth dude. Smooth dude, man. <laughs> so I'm here with the man, Mr. Shadnagel. All right. So who you think going to win the Super Bowl? Man, I'm an underdog guy, and, and I'm kind of old school. Uh, I used to love watching old Icky Woods do his thing back in the day. So I'm going with the Bengals. Oh, yeah. I said that, too. I said that. I said that, too. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So I'm here with Mrs. Cassio. So who you think going to win the Super Bowl? Well, I think that the, the Rams are going to win. Um... But I'm kind of pulling for the Bengals, um, although I know that the quarterback for the Rams, his wife, you know, uh, she conquered brain cancer, and you know, so either way, I'd be happy. I would be happy if either team won. But I think it's going to be the Rams. Same. Well, not the Rams, but I'd be happy if either team win. You know, I'm with the I'm with the Bengals though. Oh yeah, so, me, yeah. me too. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. So I'm here with the one and only Mister Coach Wilson. <laughs> A, a coach Wilson Okay uh, Who you think Gonna win the Super Bowl man Pulling for the Bengals But I think the Rams Are gonna win You know you like Like everybody said The Bengals I think the Rams Are gonna win But I'm pulling For the Bengals Okay You know I'm uh, I'm, I'm pulling for the Bengals But I think the Bengals Gonna win okay. I got y'all man Yeah Alright so I'm here with Danny Phantom That should be your He's a fan Okay, who you who you who you think gonna win? Um, what you call it, Subo? So as a Detroit Lions fan, I'm probably gonna say Matthew Stafford is gonna take home a Super Bowl. I said what team, bro? Not what player? If y'all know who Matt Stafford is, what if they don't? The Los Angeles Rams. They finna. I love Joe, but Matthew got it. Okay. <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next one. It's now time for today's announcements. Pay attention, we're moving fast. Students, if you're interested in being a part of the Eagle Vision cast next year, the application process is officially open. Head to hornlakehigh.com and click the application link in the carousel on the middle of the page. Seniors, it's now time to start emailing us pictures for your senior video. Open up your photos on your phone and email us some of the best pictures of you and your friends. Send the pictures to hornlaketv at gmail.com. Horn Lake is forming a golf team. If you're interested in playing golf, see Coach Faulkner for details. That's it for today's episode. Here at Horn Lake, we are better students always growing and expecting more. Stay tuned for your lunch menus and athletic schedules. We'll see you here Monday. Have a fantastic day.